Hi smart people and welcome to Instructor Allison Online Tutorials. In this video, we want to show you how to solve simple problem under simple harmonic motion in physics. So the question reads, a particle moving in a circular orbit of radius 0 0.02 meters. If the speed of the particle is 0.88 meter per second, calculate its frequency in circle per second. So let's see the solution to this problem and the way we always introduce uh, some simple problems under physics to students is to ensure that uh, they fetch out the necessary parameters that are given in that particular equation the reason for this is because there are sequence of formula we could use in solving uh, problems that has to do with uh, frequency you know there's a relationship between frequency and wavelength and also uh, velocity or speed we also have formula for frequency as suppose as it relates to period and then we still have some other formula like the angular frequency equal to 2 pi f so we could easily look for frequency in several of these relations but to keep it simple which one exactly should you use is to fetch out the parameter in the equation so let's get started now from the problems we have seen that radius is given as 0 0.02 meters we also saw from the problem that the speed which we could use the symbol v to represent the speed is also given as 0.88 meter per second so now you're asked to calculate for the frequency but if you check holistically, there's no relationship between frequency, um, speed, and also the radius. But we have a relationship between the angular velocity and also the linear velocity. And that relation is V equal to arrow omega. This is the relationship between linear velocity and angular velocity. Or sometimes you can call it angular frequency so now at this point we could use this to get the value of this particular parameter we are looking for but then we don't have this angular velocity we know that angular velocity is 2 or angular frequency is 2 pi f so if you substitute that in this expression you should be having that v is equal to in place of this omega we can replace it with 2 pi f multiply by arrow which is 2 pi f arrow now remember we are looking for the frequency we can make frequency the subject of the relation and therefore we have f equal to by the time we divide both sides by 2 pi arrow then we have that v all over 2 pi arrow if you don't know what i did exactly this is the math there if you have v equal to 2 pi f arrow divide, divide both sides by 2 pi arrow divide both sides by 2 pi arrow pi 2 pi and 2 pi will cancel arrow and arrow will cancel we are left alone with frequency and then the left hand side of the equation is v all over 2 pi arrow now what exactly are we looking for the frequency we can substitute the values of these parameters we've gotten already f now will be equal to what is our speed our speed is 0.88 meter per second and then we have also 2 pi is already constant which we know that pi is 22 over 7, which approximately is 3.142. And this also will multiply by arrow, which is for the radius, which is 0 0.02. And then it is in meters. All right, so let's use our calculator to point this. By the way, if you work on the denominator, if you take it step after step, which is also very necessary, you will notice that. Uh, 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 0 0.02 the result is 0.1257 and other fraction so if we divide if we divide this 0.88 by the answer then you have the result to be 7 and keep in mind the units you are asked to place your answer is cycle per second so we have here to be cycles per second so the results for the frequency 
instead of using hertz because one hertz produces circle per second we have to use this particular unit that we are required to use so that's all from me to you in this video i hope you found this video helpful please make sure to like this video share comment and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new to the channel i'll see you in the next video stay tuned